Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi. Tonight on Chinoy TV, get to know more about Taiwan's music scene. Satisfy your dim sum cravings at New World Vanilla Hotel. And get to know more about the latest happenings in the Chinese Filipino community. I'm Janina Chan, Washa Tai Shiran, and this is Chinoy TV, Beihua Dian Shi Tai. Taiwanese music has three main different genres. Mainstream Mando Pop, Taiwanese Pop, and Indie Rock. Today, Indie Rock is becoming far popular amongst the Taiwanese, and they say that it truly has the potential to make it in the international music scene. Here's Valerie Tan to tell us more. Welcome to the center of culture of Taiwan, Taipei. Chinoy TV goes back to Taiwan. This time, we centered our trip in the country's capital city, Taipei, where culture centers like Taipei 101, Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, Cementing Shopping District, and the night markets are just over the corner. We met a lot of foreigners who were definitely enjoying the trial visa-free travel program. So I chanced upon fellow Pinoy tourists. Hi, Bea. Hi. So is this your first time here in Taipei? Um, it's my second. Mm. So bakat mo na isip na bumalik dito? When I first came here, I fell in love with the city. Yung sobrang refreshing siya from Manila. Tapos um, maganda yung nahita ko iba't ibang klase ng culture. May traditional Chinese, as may modern Chinese. Everything in Taiwan is fell in love with. So the food, the way the food is built, that's my favorite. Personally, I like I love how the food is built. As we strolled around, we discovered a complete different scene of the city. We got to explore the wonders of the emerging Taiwan's indie music. Yup, there's a lot more than our favorite nature garden soundtracks that this country has to offer when it comes to the music scene. Join us as we travel through rhythm and melodies that you will surely dig on. Taiwanese indie music is like not only music. It's a, oh, yeah, true. Yeah, it's like a way to talk about like what I feel. And that is pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. And we, we got a lot of festivals. So in the music scenes is pretty strong. You know what I noticed about Taipei? There are a lot of uh, shops, quaint coffee shops and restaurants that have a very unique design and interesting concept. So it's very, very hip here. And along these hipster alleys, we found a hole-in-the-wall haven for punk lovers. Welcome to THT Record Store and Cafe Bar. You can imagine THT as a perfect stopover for metalhead bikers. It's all the things cafes, bars, and record shops can offer, from eclectic genre of music sealed in vinyl discs, to craft beers and down to coffees. THT owner Lee Si Ting played for various bands in Taipei before cultivating his years of musical expertise into his own shop. We got to interview him together with his friend Joe Henley, a Canadian who fell in love with the country's music scene and is now a vocalist of a local metal band in Taipei. Asu and Joe, uh, ni hao. Yeah. Can you tell us more about Taiwan's indie music scene? Uh, indie music scene uh, in Taiwan目前在台湾算是一个还蛮有优势的国家那Live 西洋跟日本的文化，那但是比较重要的课题，我觉得是怎么让内化变成很近的东西。So Joe, you've been here in uh, Taipei for more more than a decade already. So what can you say about the difference of the music back then and now? 
Now it's become a lot more international here uh, in Taipei, I would say. Um, of course, artists here, they take influences from all around the world and of course from the West as well. But they really, now I'm noticing they're incorporating a lot more of the local identity, the local politics, the local flavor into music, the local instrumentation. So they're taking something old, something from somewhere else, and they're starting to make it their own thing. In your opinion, why do you think there's like this uh, burgeoning uh, evolution of uh, the Indian music in Taiwan? I say Taiwan music scene, what are the first adjectives that come to mind? People here, they, they really wanted to gather up as much as they could when, when the country opened up to the world in the late 80s, early 90s. And, you know, because music, things like music have been suppressed for so long, as soon as the floodgates opened, it was just uh, like a mad feast. Everybody wanted to dig in. And so that's why it built up so quickly. That's why people were so passionate about it because they had been denied that for so long, in, in my opinion. So I think that dynamic and diverse would be too main. And for our side trip, we visited another off-the-beaten-path record shop called Waiting Room. This one focuses on iconic brands from music, arts, and fashion fields. Totally a place to channel your inner hipster. Can you tell us more about yourself and your participation in Taiwan's music scene? Okay, I'm Abdul, and I'm co-owner of this shop called Waiting Room. And sometimes we hold, we hold some events. It's from US and they are the post-punk band and uh, they are great. Song to the World Crosser, of course, is Taiwan maybe one of the biggest band mm, okay. ever. And uh, this one, yeah, I realized it. It's forest. It's called forest. Mm. They are weird. They are play some techno industrial stuff, but they are so cool. What are the characteristics for you to call a band cool? Creative. I think the most most important thing is the creative. And you also have fashion because you know music and fashion can be connected. Yeah, right? yeah. So what, what can you say about the clothes that you sell in your? We always we get there for us, and uh, we focus on different different things. And uh, some one of the they really know the the street streetwear stuff. So do you think music influences fashion or fashion influences? I think music? both. Yeah, both. They just influence each other. Yeah. Chinoy TV is brought to you by West Avenue Suites Blue Water Day Spa Oishi Nation for Complete Waterline UPVC Philippine Valve Manufacturing Company Albert Abaya Philippine Jinjiang Association Macron Trading Gyokyan Garcia Bitstop Network Services BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia-Pacific